Paul. John, hey, I almost got some devil horns coming out of my head. Hey, do, you didn't change your background, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, I had, oh I, that's right. You I, had a different. Yeah. Look, I changed cut. my background too. Hey, yeah, lovely. <laughs> hey, you cleaned your office. Good job. Would you pay your I, granddaughter to do it? That's the only. That's the only <laughs> reason I like doing these shows is it forces me to put all the crap back here, uh, like up here where you can't uh, see it. There's just piles uh, right here. That's, that's why I do that studio <laughs> tour every year. It's a pain in the butt, but it gets our house <laughs> super well cleaned for once a year at least. Yeah. Hey, so today. Well, let, let's uh, start by talking about competitions. There's there's a recent competition that's a pretty big one in the nature photography world. Um, I'm not sure we've chatted about competitions. What what are your thoughts about competitions of, in photography? Whether it be club competitions, you know, clubs have them, and you and I speak to clubs all the time. There was this recent one where you submit imagery to these competitive things, and then there's judge a panel of judges typically, and they award uh, you know prizes and give scores and so forth. And then there's Photographic Society of America, which our buddy Dan Sniffen was part of and loved that. And so, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about competitions? Man, one island is doing a giant one right now. You know, every day, last chance to enter. Yeah. Well, you know, my thoughts about it have evolved as my thoughts about, I hate to say the word, vision have evolved. When I was probably just switched to digital, getting back into photography after a career and raising kids um, and ramping up again, I thought the key was to get into a lot of competitions, win and have this giant long resume. And somehow that would validate me. People wouldn't need to even look at my images because they would see on my resume, yeah. I was a great photographer. And uh, once I found my vision and started creating for myself to express myself, that not only became unimportant to me, it became actually a negative thing. Mm. Um, for example, I was a, I won photographer of the year in that one island thing. Oh, okay back and i've had i used to keep a pretty extensive resume oh. i don't even keep a resume now uh, in fact i think i brought this up i had a show with my jewish friend and it was my auschwitz images and her artwork combined and they weren't going to exhibit it unless i submitted a resume oh interesting and i said my work is my resume do you like it or not do you want to exhibit it or not yeah. and uh, they were just pretty adamant and we we're going to pull the show and she stepped in and somehow behind the scenes smoothed it over but why should that be relevant why mm -hmm. should anything more than the images be relevant relevant yeah. <clears throat> so competitions i don't like it because if you're really expressing yourself you're not trying to win yeah. you're trying to express yourself but let's face it there's different kinds of photographers out there there's hobbyists yeah uh and you know for them maybe that's a great honor and maybe that does symbolize this is a great image. But you yeah. have to ask yourself, if you don't win, does that mean your image is crap? For for some, for many, it does, actually. And and thus lies the concern that I have about competitions. Um, just the phrase I like to utter is, you know, because I'm always asked about it because you and I speak to clubs a lot. And clubs tend to have competitions. And so it usually comes up and I wince a little bit and I always preface my remarks by you're probably not going to like what I'm going to say because you're a club yeah. and you have people that compete. And so I've modified my response a little bit too from uh, over the years. And so my response is this, just make sure that if you're competing, because I feel like art is not, not a competition. That's my little phrase. And it shouldn't be a competition. That's where I'm at personally. But if you feel like that's what you like to do, that's fine. Just make sure to be asking yourself, why are you competing? What is the end goal of what you're doing? And I think that does now circle back to what you're talking about. If, if that brings you joy and that's why you love to do photography, who am I to say otherwise, right? But fine. we have a friend who was very involved in that. What's that organization, the three letters? PSA. PSA. And I, I think had won every award and yep. was very proud of that and very, boy, he was, man, 
focused yeah. light beam. But I remember speaking with him after he had won everything. And there was just this sense of like, he recognized, yeah, but what for now? What, what next? Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it's kind of like you're, you got your heroin fix and you need it next year and next year and next year. But, you know, it never gives real, in my opinion, or at least for me, real internal permanent satisfaction. My work does, but not sure. those little ribbons. Yeah, it feels good for a moment. You know, it's there's no question when yeah. I did enter into a few competitions 20 years ago, and I've never done, done it since, there was a moment of satisfaction. But here's that story. So I, I enter into my first competition. I win first prize. I took that same photograph and said, hey, I'm an, I, I think I'm worthy. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the Churchville competition because that's a really big deal one. It's a yearly thing. I didn't even get juried in with the same identical photograph. And that was the beginning of the unraveling for me. I'm like, what the heck? I, I don't Well, get it illustrates another principle. An award really is just the opinion of a person. And everybody's got a different opinion. Yeah. Um, you know, we had a writer, a reader write in and asked me, and I'm not going to mention his name, but he has been blacklisted from the site, our, <laughs> our YouTube site. He said, if you are creating for yourself and you don't believe in entering competitions, why do you enter your work to lens work? That's a competition, isn't yeah. it? And I said, and I, my first response was similar to our last episode, uh, when you create something that doesn't preclude you showing it to others. And I don't view lens work as a competition. No. Uh, it's not choosing the best work. It's chart, you know, Brooks has to show different work, new work, and it may not even be work that Brooks likes, I suspect, but I'm it's sure something that maybe hasn't been featured before. And he could get something wonderfully great, but he just ran it recently. And so it's not going <laughs> to, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm submitting my Aurora images next <laughs> month to Lens. <laughs> what are you going to call them? Dancing Wolves of the Aurora. No, I'm going to call mine Dancing with the Stars next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That would have been better. Can you retract that? That actually would have been stars? better. <laughs> Dang, and I wonder if he can. Can you recall these and reprint them? I should be showing the back. Or the, yeah. He'll send them to you and you'll have a black magic marker and you'll be marking it out to yeah uh, but anyway so but seriously yeah. Italy, why do i submit to lensworth because i th i told him there's only one accolade i truly am proud of and that's lensworth yeah um and maybe that's still some vanity in me but that's the one thing i'm proud of yeah i think but i do think it's different i i've had the same question asked to me even my wife has said it's interesting you say you don't like competitions aren't not a competition but you just submitted to lens she had the same identical question and to me they're very very different it is in fact somebody judging your work and making a decision whether it's you know worthy of being published that's true uh, but to me i see it as a very different thing uh and so back to back to competitions again you know, some of these competitions are good for the people who do like the spider awards. I keep getting asked by spider awards. Oh, that's what I won. The spider awards, not the, uh, the I won Island. I won, I won spider awards. But, you know, it's 35 bucks mm -hmm. and then more money if you want to. So it's a money bottom line. Oh. Truthfully, it's a money baking venture for the spider awards. I was on the board of a pretty large organized photography organization and our number one sense source of revenue was our competitions. Yeah. And that's not to say that they didn't have sincere jurors and right. they really had the spirit, but it is a moneymaker. It is. Now, uh, now let's offer an alternative to camera clubs because I've written this article, an alternative for camera clubs to Good. Okay. competitions. Let's have what you call a celebration of whatever you call it. Image celebrations. Yep. Image celebration where the person gets up with their image. They talk about when they saw it, what attracted them to it, what the eye saw versus what their vision saw. In fact, I would even invite them to show before and after images yes. and to discuss what they did to take what the eye saw and transform it into the vision. And at the end, after they discuss the image, no one can judge, critique, or say, well, it would be a little bit better if, <laughs> or if this were my image, I would. Those right. are not allowed. Yeah, You can be silent, or you can say, wow, 
I yep. love that image. And a lot of people criticize that when I say it. They say, I don't want to hear, I love that image. That's a, a trite little, you know, something. To me, that's the highest compliment. If I see that that one image of yours that I'm always jealous of, when I say I love that image, there's no higher compliment I can give. Yeah, what more I, can I say? Yeah, I agree. I receive it's only it that, that only one image that I've ever said that of yours. And it's true. I'm working on the second one, though. When we see each <laughs> other in Death Valley, I'm going to present that to you. Well, I'm going to open my lens work and look at your images. <laughs> Did you get it yet? No, no, I don't have it. Oh, that's weird. Because everybody else has received theirs, but well, that's weird. Yeah. Anyways, but, so so you're right. So let's go back. Just one last thought here, because you had brought it up a little bit. There's different kind of photographers, right? So I, I think that's important that both you and I have realized with my friend Dan, who loved PSA, and that's not who you were speaking of, but he as well loved PSA. But he he really did his imagery for himself. And if yeah. they happen to fit in a category, he would stuff them in that category rather than photographing to fit that category right that's where i think it, well, that's true yeah so but so that's so there's true. photographers who want to do fine art like you do there's photographers who photograph because they love the the technical of photography and they just love the knobs and the gears and the and yeah. the you know what i mean and so there really are very different and we're going to talk about this in an upcoming episode different kinds of photographers and what does it mean yeah so and, and anyway. you know i've we've had two of our friends i won't mention names who recently were going to submit to something and asked me what they should submit. And my yeah. advice was, look, you can, I've done it many ways. I've taken my images to family and friends and said, which ones do you like the best? I've taken the ones that I thought the juror, I would look up the jurors past judgments ah, interesting. and try to tailor it to them. And I also took an approach. If you could submit five, I put a wide variety, hoping instead of putting all of the same, aurora yeah. images and i'd put different kinds of aurora images sure. in. Yep. but let me tell you my best advice submit images that you really really love because yeah. you may not win but at least you were honest and you were submitting something that had the power of conviction and i think that really means a lot so yeah i submit do too. what you love yep that's ultimately what i did on the aurora submission i did it all by myself on that one Previous times I've submitted like for seeing in sixes and so forth with Brooks. Oh, look at that. If you do these things now, it gives you, holy cow, look at what that. What the heck happened there? <laughs> this is the new Apple thing. If you do a thumbs up, it'll give you a, th look, a thumbs up. If you do two thumbs up, but you well, got to be using nothing. your phone. You got to no, be I'm... using your phone. I'm using my phone for my camera. Uh... Look at that. Well, how do you use your Yeti microphone with your phone? Because I'm choosing the, the microphone like uh, you do in Zoom, and then I choose the camera as my phone. Well, how do you plug? The... Uh, you have to be smart enough to do this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Hey, good chat. Be okay. careful. So to summarize, because I always like to summarize, because we get a little off track there. Um, competitions are fine if that's your thing. But if but my I think our audience, by the way, our over 700 member audience Ooh. now. Yeah, um, I think the folks tuning into the show are wanting something more than to be competitive with their photographer. I really do. I, so for that group, just be mindful of and ask yourself again, what is my real purpose? And am I entering into those competitions images that make my heart sing, regardless of what happens? And you know what? I'm sorry. I can't let this go without one more thing. Here's the other danger, because I've had a couple of quick stories. I've had somebody be do competitions and receive... In a, like in a verbal competition, like it's live during a during a club episode, and the judge gave just like lambasted this person, oh, oh. and the person gave up photography, yeah. right? And so that's my that's my biggest fear is that's going to happen. Is you're going to get crit critical feedback from someone kind of like you had, and you know you were fortunate enough took you two years to say. Yeah, I really was being an Ansel Adams copy. You know, who? What am I going to do? How am I going to show that? I understand, but that, but that, thankfully, you were able to overcome that. There's people, and I have a real life story of this person who said, "I'm just, it's no fun anymore. I'm not going to do it." The other one is the last time I was a judge a number of years ago, many years ago. It was one of those speed rounds, and I had a clicker with zero to nine on it. 
and there's three of us sitting live at a critique session at a club and you had to dial in the number hit the button and it's randomized the number so you don't know who the judge is and it doesn't post those three uh numbers until the judging is done well right. on the first image i'm like i'm really thoughtful the other two people go boink boink that fast and so i'm trying to slow them down on the second and the third and there's nothing I could do to slow those other two judges down. Within a millisecond, they looked at that image, dialed it in, and and made a number. And so finally, I just I, the pressure was too hard. They knew it was me, and so I started at the end. So now that's that happened, and I felt awful about that because I'm not giving thought to these people's images. You can't in one second. It's a it's. Anyways, so now we're out, we're having drinks, we're mingling, we're having cookies and whatever. And a person comes up to me and says, why did you give me a four? Mm -hmm. And I said, how do you know I gave you a four? Mm -hmm. Because it's randomized. And, and this person says, I asked the other two judges what they gave me on my picture. Mm -hmm. And now, not one of my finest moments, and I may have shared this in another episode a while ago, but... I looked at this person. I said, if my four is that important to you, you should take up another hobby. <laughs> that was not very kind. I realized that, but I was so angry that yeah. she went out of her way yeah. to, to override the protection that's put in place. So that very thing wouldn't happen. But in all honesty, I felt really convicted in, in saying what I said, because it was the truth. Well, if, it is. if my four was so important to you, you should love that image regardless, and it shouldn't matter what I gave you for that. For that, so, so those are the dangers that I get worried about. Well, people, in, in people my... receiving critiques that make them no longer want to photograph. That would be awful. And then, and then, are you doing it because my four is going to ruin your day and your life? Well, that's that's a whole show. Why <laughs> do we care what others think in relationship to our photography? Because yeah. that really can be what makes us try to create for others or yeah. create for ourselves yeah. so yeah we should all right we'll that. wrap it up we've gone long compared to the last one. i think we just okay. evened it out well on average they're good good <laughs>